Hi, my name is Alexander Sanders and I am one of the creators of CR Truths. The ignition for this movement starts between the years of 2012 and 2016 when I attended Pace University's musical theater program in New York City. I, along with my peers, was promised an education like no other in the country. The main selling point was that Pace's musical theater program had accepted a widely diverse student body. So much so that Pace's musical theater program is sometimes known as the diversity school within the theater community. At orientation, the head of our program told us to look around and see faces that looked like our own and faces that didn't. It was unlike anything I had ever seen before because it was unlike anything anyone had ever seen before. And it wasn't just something I experienced in that first day, it was true in numbers. Pace had and continues to have some of the highest averages for students of color when compared to national theater school averages. So I believed it was a diverse school. This is where promises were made to the student body about what this program would be for us. We were promised an education that would not adhere to the racist and discriminatory precedents set by our industry and the world. We were promised a space that would encourage us to share our voices and be heard. We were promised a faculty that was progressive, anti-racist, and equipped to educate a diverse student body. We were promised equal access to education no matter what we looked like or where we were from. We were promised an environment that would allow us to learn about, understand, and empower ourselves as individuals and as a community. Not one of these promises was fulfilled. And as my time went on there, I realized that the optics of the school did not match its true core. In those four years, I not only experienced racism, discrimination, sexism, fetishization, neglect, bullying, and oppression in all its forms, but I witnessed it happen to my peers daily. By my third year, I felt something had to change, and some of my friends did too. So we sent letters to the head of our program in 2015 talking about the many forms of oppression that the school's policies and practices perpetuated on its diverse student body. Those letters were ignored. We were silenced and shamed for even speaking out. We tried to share our truth and the truths of countless others that didn't want to speak out for fear that their education and careers would be tarnished by the people committing these acts of oppression on them. The faculty didn't want to see, so they didn't. Now, we are in an unprecedented time where a global pandemic has confined all of us and as a result, made us distance from others and sit with ourselves in ways that we never have before. The injustices of the world are still happening the same as they always have, but now people are watching. This is where this movement comes in. We are here to create a space where we can unite together and build a community, to not feel so alone, to better understand our pain by better understanding others' pain. To come out of the darkness that these systems and these people have kept us in for hundreds of years. Systems of oppression and the people who benefit from them thrive by shrouding the world in darkness, creating a veil to cloud our perceptions and judgments. We will no longer accept this. We will no longer accept being gaslit, tone policed, shamed, confined, 
misunderstood, ignored, silenced, and unseen. We will no longer accept our education failing us. We will no longer accept being told that we are short-sighted for not wanting to compromise our integrity for the comfort of those in power. We will no longer accept being called angry and bitter linchpins for advocating for ourselves proudly and unapologetically. We will no longer accept being told that we are personally crusading against individuals simply for creating expressive spaces for ourselves that are not being provided. We will no longer accept false promises of diversity and inclusion. We will no longer accept the excuse, that's the way the world works. Now, hear our stories, understand our experience, learn who we are, recognize who you are, and see our truths.